On this episode of Living the Dream, Captain Jimmy and Louisa are back at Crocodile Bay Resort in Costa Rica. And despite the rough weather, the fishing is on fire. Fish on. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Living the Dream. Oh, there it is on the surface. Oh, it's a rooster. It jumped. Awesome. These little rooster fish give it their all. Well, guys, that's what happens your first two minutes out here at Crocodile Bay, getting fish right away. There he is. Woo! Coming up again. All right. Yeah. Right here, right here. Coming up. Yeah. Woo! Look at him go. Wow. Nice. It's another day at Crocodile Bay Resort in Costa Rica. And while it's hard to resist hiking the resort's trails to witness all of the incredible wildlife just outside the hotel's own door, Jimmy and Louisa set out this morning to do some fishing. Today, they'll stick close to shore. The plan was to go for marlin and sailfish, but offshore things are getting rough as a big storm front moves in. Joined by longtime friend and fellow captain Jim Rodriguez, they head out from Crocodile Bay Resort and set the anchor and the first mate gets some bait in the water. With the storm fast approaching and the vapors rising up from the rainforest canopy, it's an overcast morning, but it won't stop Jimmy and Louisa from fishing, just like it won't stop the fish from biting. Fish on! Welcome back to another episode of Living the Dream. Today we're inshore again at a Crocodile Bay because as you can see, we got a big storm on the horizon. We were heading out marlin fishing and uh, couldn't make it out, so we turned around we're using our marlin baits for rooster fish and snapper, whatever else we can catch, I hooked up immediately. Oh, there it is on the surface. Oh, it's a rooster. It jumped. Wow. That was unlikely. Well, that's cool. We got the rooster. That's what it is. Here he comes. He's coming at us hot. Woo! All right. We actually have 80-pound Palomar fluorocarbon leader on there, which seems kind of heavy, but there's so many big fish out here that you have to have that heavier leader. There he is again, oh my gosh. These little ones are acrobatic. Awesome. That's exciting, hooking up right away. I'm trying to keep his head down, but he wants to keep putting it up. Stay down. I want to keep him down because I don't want him to jump off, do something crazy and start shaking everywhere and get off. Man, this thing is putting up a fight. These little rooster fish give it their all. All right. careful with that hook and it wanted to slide in my hand. Well guys, that's what happens your first two minutes out here at Crocodile Bay, getting fish right away. Didn't even get the offshore rods completely put up. We're pulling in some beautiful roosters. <laughs> what a great start to the day. It is insane how good the inshore fishing is out here at Crocodile Bay right now. I can't wait to get out and catch some marlin. It's just not happening. So. This will have to do for now. We'll get this guy back in the water. Got him in quick. He put up a heck of a fight. Strong little guy. Oh my gosh, look at him go. No kidding, huh? Strong fish right there. Fought him in, jumping all over the place, slashing everywhere. Just took right off. After that early morning fight and an unexpected show from the rooster, the first mate, with help from some Palomar leaders, throws another bait on a sinker and lets it drop. The rain isn't too far off, and everybody's eager to land another fish. And this time, it's Rodriguez that steps up to the plate. Oh, come on. Oh, came off, came off, came off. Oh, he's still he there. scared. That blue oh, under oh, solid oh, something, Something's eating him. 
think I got them. Oh, it is. Yeah. It's a snapper. Nice. Yeah. It's a baby Kubera. Yeah, boy. Kubera snapper. Look at that bad boy right there. Heck yeah. Nice Kubera, buddy. Dude. At first, Kubera. There you go. Look at that little baby Kubera. Out here in Costa Rica, living the dream, baby. My first Kubera. All right, I'm gonna let this little guy go so we can catch him when he's much bigger. There he goes. Lots of life. The storm decides on a different path and winds its way around the boat. And the sun jumps in and out from behind the clouds. So Jimmy and Louisa decide to stick with the fishing for a while longer. And though the bite has turned off, the decision pays off. Anchored over a drop-off, Jimmy and Louisa spot two humpback whales surfacing nearby the boat. Each time his mother and her calf surface, they drop back down into the depths, disappearing into the murky current. But the captain loves tailing these magnificent mammals. This is part of the Crocodile Bay experience. It's a place where spectacles like these are no longer far from ordinary. Live in the Dream with Captain Jimmy Nelson is made possible by Salt Life, Live Salty, Grizzly Coolers, Envisioned, Engineered, and perfected for performance. Deck it, never compromise, demand the best. And by American Fishing Wire. After an overcast day fishing inshore, seas are still rough offshore. So Jimmy and Louisa decide to stick to land today. They hop in the transport from Crocodile Bay Resort with a few guides and head out for a jungle and waterfall eco tour. The drive itself to the trailhead is an adventure. The roads are winding and narrow, and rivers rolling down from the hills cut right through them. Up ahead is a split in the road and they veer left, making a short pit stop at one of Costa Rica's many beautiful beaches. Costa Rica is a relatively small country, but to the east is the Pacific, and to the west, the Caribbean, which makes for over 800 miles of coastline and over 300 sandy beaches all of which attract surfers and tourists and plenty of seaside wildlife. Before they even make it to the trailhead and set out on their jungle excursion, they're running into crabs and birds on the beach. One thing's for sure, Costa Rica's biodiversity makes it the perfect home for many species, which makes it the perfect place for adventures like this one. <laughs> Get all of them. Just find them hanging out here on the beach. Little hermit crabs. Yeah. Interactions like these between humans and the incredible range of species that make Costa Rica their home aren't uncommon, just like the one they had with the humpback whales on the boat yesterday. But even on a day when the wildlife is tame and hiding, a beach like this one is a rarity all its own, and Louisa knows how to make the most of it. After a pit stop at the beach, Jimmy and Louisa finally head out on their jungle excursion. They've been on enough of them to know that at Crocodile Bay, the eco-tours always deliver. The eco-tours at Crocodile Bay are always cool. You never know what you're going to see, but you know you always see monkeys and a variety of birds and parrots and toucans and all kinds of neat stuff when you're out there in the jungle and on those different tours. Costa Rica is home to four species of monkeys, the spider monkey, the Central American squirrel monkey, the Panamanian white-faced monkey, and the loudest and most notable among them, the howler monkey. Howler monkeys inhabit forests from Central America all the way down into South America. 
and they can produce vocal sounds as loud as some of the largest land mammals. It was really cool seeing that owl up in the tree. I've never seen that kind of owl before, I don't think. And he was just kind of chilling, checking us out. Wasn't scared at all. We also saw a couple snakes on this trip. We'll be back for more Living the Dream right after the break. Live in the Dream with Captain Jimmy Nelson is made possible by C&H Lures. Be a winner with C&H Lures. Plantation on Crystal River, the place to stay and play along Florida's nature coast. And by Salt Life. Live salty. Before the break, Jimmy and Louisa started on a jungle excursion but their end destination is one of the hundreds of waterfalls that Costa Rica is home to. This Central American territory is world renowned for its biodiversity. North to south, the country runs narrow and on either side are massive oceans. And the land itself is formed by thousands of years of earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. That and the steady rainfalls and vapors of the rainforest common in a place like this one provide a perfect combination of elements, the end result of which are waterfalls. Every time Jimmy and Louisa come to Costa Rica, they always cap a jungle and beach eco tour with a waterfall hike. It's one of their favorite things to do here, and it never gets old. The hike is long and the incline steady, but as they march on, they can feel the humidity slowly breaking as they get nearer and nearer to the waterfall. Costa Rica is home to hundreds of waterfalls, the highest among them reaching over 700 feet. But no matter how tall they are, all are breathtaking and unique to their surroundings. It's just one of the reasons that a hike like this is well worth every step. At the end of the trail awaits them a waterfall stretching over 100 feet high. But before they can even get there, they run into smaller waterfalls along the way, each beautiful and refreshing in their own right. Just after a pit stop off at one of the smaller falls, just when they're starting to feel the burn, Jimmy and Louisa throw themselves over one last hill. And as they round the bend, the waterfall reveals itself. So we made it. Right here is an amazing waterfall. We had to come up, I think, three other waterfalls, and of course, a lot of good sized dips and stuff to make it here. And it's coming down pretty good. It was very humid on the walk up, but when you get here, it's actually pretty refreshing because all the air coming off of the water is really cool. Yeah. It's really an adventure, huh? Oh my gosh, what an adventure. It's got to be 10 degrees cooler right here under the waterfall, too. It's really nice. It's like an air conditioner. After a demanding hike, Jimmy and Louisa soak up every moment they can at the base of this breathtaking waterfall. The sounds and sights of this place are hard to turn your back on. But it isn't long before all of the cool water in the air refreshes them and they're ready to hike back to the transport. They head back to Crocodile Bay Resort to grab a meal and hang out poolside. After a few days on land, storms offshore still haven't cleared. But Jimmy and Louisa are itching to get back on the water and hook into some more fish. They take this opportunity to enjoy a Costa Rican sunset from land, but tomorrow they're going after sailfish, whether seas are rough or not.
Jimmy and Louisa spent the day yesterday on an amazing jungle and waterfall eco-tour, but now they're itching to get back on the water. They've been trying to get offshore for days now, but rough conditions and steady storm fronts have kept them on land, or at least close to it. Conditions are still rough today. Seas are choppy and swelling, and massive rainstorms can be seen from the boat rolling by further offshore. The captain tries to keep the boat steady as the first mate sets the spread with a variety of CNH sailfish and marlin lures. The right kind of lure for when you're running and gunning like this in rough weather. For everyone's safety, they're not as far from shore as they'd like to be. But this is Costa Rica. If they're going to hook into a sailfish this close to shore, they know they're in the right place to do it. About as soon as the spread is set, Jimmy's got a reel in hand after seeing the rod tip dig down. Whatever it was, it didn't take the bait. But as soon as Jimmy's ready to set the pole down, the first mate hands him another reel that he thinks was just hit. Sure enough, after about 10 minutes of trolling, Costa Rica delivers and they've got a sailfish on. sail jumping back there, way back there. Holy cow. This actually may not be all that big because it's hard for me to see this far away. Pulling. Good spin. Oh, yeah. Glad he hit one of the shotgun rods way back. Makes it easy for getting the other lines out of the way. fish over here are quite a bit bigger than the ones that we've come from. There's strong fish out here, I tell you what. These big fish is just staying down. Doesn't want to come up. It's pretty typical for them though. Jimmy doesn't usually go for a belt, but this fish isn't messing around. Sailfish in Costa Rica can grow over 150 pounds and have been clocked at speeds over 60 miles per hour. So they know how to dig down and stay down. Coming up, coming up. There he is, woo! Coming up again. All right, there we go. Put on that fish like he's coming up one more time. Yeah! That's why we fish for him. It finally got some jumps in closer to the boat, but as soon as it gives Jimmy a taste of the show these fish are known to put on, the sailfish starts to dig down again, and the line is peeling out. But this fish is dialed in now, and it won't be long before he zips his way up to the surface again. Coming up, coming up, right over here. Coming up, coming up, oh yeah. Woo, now he's dancing. Yeah, baby. Coming right at us. Coming up right here, right here. Coming up. Yeah. Woo. Look at him go. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Wow. Nice. All right, guys. We got him in a position where we can almost land him. Go a little forward, because we're going to go for a second. Tengalo ahí, neutro. Yeah. Come forward a little bit. All right, lad. All right. Charlie, take the rod. Woo! Woo! time to get him either. Probably about 15, maybe 20 minutes top to trolling. And he came in hot. Got the shotgun lines. I 
It didn't take long to get the sailfish this morning, guys. They're out here. Awesome day at Crocodile Bay. Beautiful fish. What an awesome way to start our day off here in Costa Rica. Nice sailfish. Despite the steady storm swirling around them, the first mate rolls another spread of CNH lures out. This is why Jimmy and Louisa come to Costa Rica every year. Charters out of Crocodile Bay Resort and their captains like the fishing just as much as they do. For more fishing and diving action, follow Captain Jimmy on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and TikTok at Captain Jimmy Nelson. <laughs>